Hello students, uh, good morning. Myself, Sayyad Mahabub Basha. Today, uh, let's see a second year, third chapter that is uh, electrochemistry. Okay, you know, this chapter is uh, very important because uh, you will surely get uh, one question on this. Uh, the two, uh, the important topic is like uh, uh, Nernst equation or uh, cell representation or a question based on uh, electrode potentials. I mean, standard electrode uh, potentials or it may be based on uh, Faraday's laws and one more very important that is uh, Kohlrush law or uh, batteries. Okay. So, these are the important topics of this chapter. Let us we have a quick revision on this uh, chapter and uh, let us see some of the MCQs regarding this uh, chapter. Okay. So, you know electrochemistry is the study of production of electricity from energy released during spontaneous chemical reactions and the use of electrical energy to bring about non-spontaneous chemical uh, transformations. Okay. That means electrochemistry is the interconversion of both the electrical energy and the chemical uh, energy. Okay. That means here you can convert a spontaneous process. That means chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. New spontaneous chemical reactions will not be our reactions in the agi, new electricity in a generator mark. Okay, you do one do it. No, do so electricity in a use mark. One do non spontaneous chemical reactions will not carry out a mark. So, you will do interconversion agrarinda. So, you know, vice versa and the carry good. Okay, so e branch of chemistry in a novel electrochemistry and the career that means electrochemistry is a branch of chemistry. It deals with the interconversion of both electrical energy and uh, chemical uh, energy. Okay, so these uh, chemical reactions, what we are going to see, so is purely based on a first year chapter that is uh, redox uh, reactions. Okay, so redox reactions are the fundamental uh, reactions uh, which involve uh, electrochemical uh, reactions. Okay, so that's why we have already seen that uh, redox reaction in our last class. So. Uh, that the, the, those reactions are basis for uh, this electrochemical uh, phenomena. Okay, so now see electrochemical cells are classified into two types. Okay, so one is voltaic cell, or one more is electrolytic uh, cell. Here there is a difference. Voltaic cells means in which uh, it converts chemical energy into electrical energy. Okay, if you are converting a chemical energy into electrical energy then that particular electrochemical cell is called as voltaic cell clear so example for that one is that is a daniel cell so here uh, the figure of uh, that one okay so here we have a construction and working of a daniel cell so here we have uh, two compartments so in which uh, one is zinc anode it acts as anode, it is dipped in zinc sulphate uh, solution, its, its concentration is 1 molar. Okay. So, here you must dip uh, your respective electrode in its uh, respective solutions. Okay. So, next uh, copper, here it acts as a uh, cathode and it is dipped in copper sulphate uh, solution and it is having 1 molar concentration. Okay. So, these two electrodes are connected to an uh, ammeter to denote or to identify the flow of uh, electrons nothing but uh, flow of uh, current okay so now this circuit is not yet been uh, completed okay to complete that circuit we need to introduce a salt bridge that is a u tube salt bridge we need to connect so that the circuit will get uh, connected okay so you know here zinc acts as anode at anode oxidation takes place okay see that is that anode it is having negative charge uh, it carries negative pole that means uh, here electrons are released that's why it is negatively charged and at cathode it is positive charge uh, positive pole because the electrons are accumulated at a uh, cathode so that's why it is having a positive charge so that pole is considered to be called as positive pole so at the cathode reduction takes place that means addition of electrons will uh, takes place in case of anode reduction of electron uh, sorry loss of electrons will uh, takes place okay so now this is the salt bridge what is the function of salt bridge means 
so it completes the circuit okay main function is it completes the circuit and it maintains electrical neutrality in these uh, two compartments okay here once the electrons will move from here to here the negative charge is decreases that's why to maintain that electric negative charge the ion the negative ions it comes to solution from a salt bridge okay so here once cu2 plus is uh, converted into cu by the addition of two electrons that is a reduction so here positive charges are decreases okay so that's why uh, from this salt bridge a positive charges will come to this solution to maintain electrical uh, neutrality so that's why this salt bridge is uh, having a connection with this uh, daniel cell to maintain electrical uh, neutrality uh, this electrical neutrality is maintained by supplying uh, ions okay so that's why this salt bridge is uh, filled with the uh, k plus and cl minus ions sometimes k plus and uh, no3 minus ions why this kcl or kno3 means because the cations and ions moment are same here okay that means the moment of uh, cations as well as the moment of ions are same that's why they will reach in time so that it maintains electrical uh, neutrality okay so this is voltaic uh, cell example that is a uh, daniel cell okay electrolytic cells means that uh, converts electrical energy into chemical energy so we will see next that okay so now we have seen electrodes that is anode and uh, cathode this electrodes is depends upon a uh, electrode potential okay what do you mean by electrode potential is that is is the potential difference set up between metal and its uh, ions in the solution or it is the tendency of an electrode to get oxidized or uh, reduced when a metal is dipped in its own solution it may either undergo oxidation or it may undergo reduction based on that uh, its uh, potential is decided that potential of electrode is called as electrode of potential okay to calculate or to identify those electrode potentials we need a standard reference electrode okay that standard reference electrode is uh, this one that is the uh, standard hydrogen uh, electrode or normal hydrogen uh, electrode we will see that in coming uh, topic okay so now let's have a look on this that is when the concentration of all the species involved in the half cell is unity then the electrode potential is known as standard electrode potential oxidation potential means the tendency to get uh, oxidized you know that is oxidation loss of uh, electrons reduction potential means the tendency to get uh, reduced is that gain of uh, electrons okay so if you add all other one that you one metal na uh, respective metal solution al dip madadaga either it may undergo oxidation or uh, either it may undergo reduction okay based on that those electron will get uh, a potential that may be a oxidation potential or a reduction potential okay so illi yenu nimage potential bartta ide electrode na adu na iupac prakara according to iupac convention standard reduction potentials are called a standard electrode of potential anta karkonte okay so ee tara neevu values nella kandidadadmele adara reactivity mele arrange maartta idivi aa arrangement na nu electrochemical series anta karithe okay so electrochemical series it is an arrangement of all the electrodes in order of their increasing standard reduction of potentials okay so illi illi namatra standard hydrogen electrode ide idr the electrode potential value zero naave idanna arbitrary agi consider maadibittivi that is Uh, the it's a standard electrode potential is taken as a zero okay so idna ittkondu idna bere metal electrodes jothege connect madadaga adara electrode potentials either positive adaru barabodu athwa negative adaru barabodu idr basis mele negative inda positive varigu electrode potentials na arrange madidivi that is called as electrochemical series that includes electrode potential of hydrogen also that is standard hydrogen electrode okay so ee tara arrangement alli namige ನಿಮ್ಮ ಲೀಥಿಯಂ ಏನಿದೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಥರ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮೇಲೂ ಕೂಡ ನೀವು ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ಸು ಮತ್ತು ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ಸ್ನ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಲುಕ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆಸರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆರ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಶಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಶಿ
so it is having a platinum uh, electrode in a glass bulb okay so coated with a platinum back here platinum back uh, is used to absorb the uh, hydrogen gas okay is dipped in 1m acidic solution here the concentration of uh, acidic uh, acid that is uh, uh, hcl is uh, 1 molar and hydrogen gas is bubbled through it at uh, 1 bar from this side tube we are introducing a hydrogen gas that is 1 bar okay so by doing this we are uh, considering the electrode potential of this uh, standard hydrogen electrode is zero okay actually idu zero barutho barala namage gottilla but nave idakke assign maadibittide idu standard hange agibittide zero anta idanna reference agi ittukondu ulidira anta electrode potentials kuna calculate maadtivi okay next uh, very important this is uh, because uh, this chapter consist of uh, theory as well as uh, problems so for the problem sake you must remember these reactions that is uh, nernst equations and modifications of uh, nernst equations in different uh, forms okay let's have a clear look on this one so tumba important to so see here mn plus it's an ion metal ion when it added with uh, n number of electrons it becomes a metal that is aqueous solution is converted into solid okay so addition of electrons this is called as a reduction reaction is taking place here reduction means it is a cathode okay so now uh, for this we are going to write a nernst equation so nernst equation is that is e cell is equal to e not cell e not cell means that is standard electrode potential this is electrode potential this is standard uh, electrode potential standard electrode potential means that uh, concentration of the solution should be 1 molar and uh, temperature should be 298 kelvin and uh, uh, its uh, pressure should be standard that is 1 uh, bar so at that time if you used to calculate the electrode potential that is called as standard uh, electrode potential minus 2.303 rt by nf where r is uh, universal gas constant t is uh, temperature n is number of electrons transfer and f is faraday's uh, constant okay so faraday's constant value is 96500 coulomb okay so now log of 1 by concentration of mn plus actually this is concentration of product divided by concentration of uh, reactant see here product is capital m here the reactant is mn plus okay so but uh, in electrode reactions so electrodes are solid agirudinda idakke yavade rithiya concentration irala anga agibittu idanna unity anta thagontivi so that's why it is 1 by mn plus so now e cell is equal to e not cell illi neevu universal gas constant value 8.314 substitute madidre illi 96500 substitute maadi illi standard temperature illi 298 kelvin ire adanna substitute madidre this value reduces to 0.059 divided by n So log 1 by m n plus. Okay. So this is also Nernst equation only. And this one is also Nernst equation. Okay. So now Nernst equation for general electrochemical uh, reaction. For example, we have a general reaction that is A A plus uh, B B. Two reactants are there. It converts to C C plus uh, D D. Okay. If you write uh, a Nernst equation for this uh, general electrochemical reaction, this is the pattern. E cell is equal to E not cell minus 2.303 R T by N F log of concentration of product. That is here two products are there. That is C and uh, D along with its uh, coefficient. That is small c and uh, small d. So if you write a uh, equilibrium constant, then uh, it gives that is Q is c to the power of c, d to the power of d divided by a to the power of a, b to the power of uh, d. Okay. If you want to calculate E not cell here. here this is the formula that is e not cell is equal to e not cathode minus e not uh, anode if you substitute cathode electro standard electrode value and anode standard electrode value it minus of these two will give standard electrode uh, potential okay of the cell clear yeah. so and the uh, concentration of pure solids are taken a uh, unity okay so if there any metal here then you need to take it as a uh, unity clear yeah. so now equilibrium constant from uh, nernst equation uh, further we are going to derive a relation between uh, e not cell and uh, equilibrium constant that is at equilibrium you know at equilibrium e cell is equal to zero because uh, there is no flow of electrons and there is no uh, reactions also so it has stopped no so that's why there is no cell potential that's why e cell is equal to zero 
if you substitute E cell is equal to 0 here then this E naught cell will come this side clear. So, that time E naught cell is equal to 2.303 RT by NF log KC ok. Actually this is a Q at equilibrium if E cell is equal to 0 means then Q will become a equilibrium constant that is a KC. So, that is why it is KC ok. So, this is a relation between E naught cell and a equilibrium a constant. So, this can also be written for two different concentrations that is for concentration cells EMF at 298 Kelvin is given by E cell is equal to 2.303 RT by NF log C2 by C1 ok. So, next uh, we can relate this uh, electrode potential or standard electrode potential with the uh, Gibbs energy equation also that is delta R G is equal to minus N F E cell ok. You know here N is number of electrons transferred, F is Faraday's constant and E cell is cell potential ok. If it carried out at standard conditions then it is converted to standard Gibbs free energy is equal to minus N F E naught cell that is standard electrode potential ok. So, here this is E naught cell and this is also E naught cell ok. So, if we equate this one with this equation then at the final we are going to get a relation between delta G naught and uh, equilibrium uh, constant ok. That is delta G naught is equal to minus R T lan k. If you convert lan into log then it is minus 2.303 R T log k clear. So, these are the important uh, equations you must remember ok. So, now let us have a look on some uh, important uh, definitions and relations in this chapter. So, before going to that uh, we are going to write uh, a cell representation you know that is cell representation first uh, we, we need to write a uh, anode and next uh, salt bridge and next uh, cathode. So, anode electrode is represented after that uh, you need to represent uh, two lines so that it indicates salt bridge and next you need to write a uh, cathode ok. So, that is cell uh, representation. So, now conductance of uh, electrolytic cell ok. So, here these are the definitions see R, R is resistance you know resistance is directly proportional to length of the conductor divided by it is inversely proportional to area of uh, cross section ok. If you remove this proportionality then uh, R is equal to rho into L by A where rho is called as resistivity or a specific uh, resistance having a SI unit ohm meter ok. So, now the inverse of resistance R is called a conductance it is denoted by G ok. So, that means G is equal to 1 by R because it is inverse now. So, that is why this is 1 by R here R means you know that is rho into L by A if you substitute that then it will become A by rho into L you know 1 by rho is nothing but a kappa ok. So, this kappa is called as conductivity or a specific uh, conductance clear and the SI unit of conductance is Simon or uh, ohm inverse or you can simply call it as mo ok. So, here kappa is equal to 1 by rho where k is called a uh, conductivity or specific uh, conductance having SI unit Simon meter inverse. These units are very important they may ask in examination so remember this ok. So, next one that is a uh, molar conductivity here we know conductivity. So, here it is represented by molar conductivity it means is the conductance of a solution containing one mole of the electrolyte. If your solution is uh, one molar if it conducts electricity then that conductivity is called as molar conductivity it formula is lambda m lambda m means molar conductivity is equal to kappa that is a uh, conductivity into 1000 divided by molarity where molarity is in moles per liter this is the formula to calculate molar conductivity. Next uh, equivalent conductivity that is lambda equivalent you know the difference between molarity and uh, normality. So, molarity means number of moles of solute dissolves in uh, 1 liter of solution normality means number of moles of gram equivalent weight of solute dissolves in 1 liter of uh, solution. So, this is the difference ok. So, where normality is in gram equivalent uh, liter clear. So, now what is the variation of these uh, uh, terms on on a dilution ok that is variation of uh, conductance, conductivity, molar conductance and uh, equivalent conductance with the uh, dilution. 
and dilution as the number of ions increases conductance increases okay you dilute madadangilla number of ions ku free aagibittu jaasti aagtaradilla conductance enagutte jaasti agutte and dilution as the number of ions per cm cube decreases so conductivity decreases okay next uh, and dilution though kappa decreases but volume increases much more hence equivalent or molar conductivity increases because here we have a formula that is the conductivity is equal to it may be a molar conductivity or equivalent conductivity kappa into volume that means here molar conductivity or equivalent conductivity is directly proportional to volume that's why if the volume increases so obviously molar conductivity is also increases okay so next uh, when concentration approaches zero so we have seen molar conductivity and equivalent conductivity if the concentration of those solutions uh, approaches to zero that means uh, zero concentration that uh, dilution is called as a uh, infinite dilution if you calculate molar conductivity at that time that is called as limiting molar uh, conductivity it is represented by lambda m not okay so now let's see variation of lambda m that is molar conductivity with the concentration c okay here we are going to get a reaction that uh, reaction is uh, for uh, strong electrolytes and uh, weak electrolytes see usually that uh, uh, reaction is for strong electrolytes lambda m increases slowly with the dilution and can be represented by the equation lambda m is equal to lambda m not minus a c to the power of 1 by 2 you can write it as root c okay this equation is called as d by huckel onsager equation okay see here it uh, seems to be like uh, y is equal to m x plus uh, c okay it's a line equation right uh, if you plot a graph of lambda m versus uh, square root of concentration like this lambda m square root of uh, concentration you will get a straight line for strong electrolytes okay so this is the intercept that is a uh, lambda m not you can cal calculate here that is limiting molar conductivity at infinite uh, dilution that means for strong electrolytes if you goes on decreases the concentration that means limiting molar conductivity so it's uh, limiting molar conductivity will uh, decreases okay as the concentration approaches uh, 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 zero are you following so that you can able to calculate uh, limiting molar conductivity for a strong electrolyte but it is not same in case of uh, weak electrolytes strong electrolytes like kcl you will get a nature of graph like this for weak acids like uh, acetic acid you will get a curve like this that means it never touches uh, lambda m that means you won't able to calculate a uh, limiting molar conductivity exactly for weak electrolytes so uh, that's why the nature of graph will be like this okay see here plot of lambda m against uh, concentration of uh, square root of concentration of c is a straight line with intercept equal to lambda m not and a slope equal to minus uh, a if you calculate slope here you will get a uh, minus a as the slope because here it is minus m that is nothing but minus uh, a so next uh, similarly for weak electrolytes if you draw it for weak electrolyte it increases as c decreases but does not reach a constant value even at infinite uh, dilution see here it has never been touched right it will move parallel to lambda m axis that means it is difficult to calculate limiting molar conductivity for weak electrolytes okay so that's why to calculate the limiting molar conductivity of weak electrolytes a scientist his name is kolrash introduced a law that is called as kolrash law of independent migration of uh, ions okay so limiting molar conductivity of an uh, weak electrolytes is equal to sum of the limiting molar conductivity of cations and uh, anions okay this is the formula so here lambda not uh, plus and um, lambda not uh, minus are limiting molar conductivities of cations and uh, anions respectively and uh, nu plus and nu not are uh, stoichiometric uh, numbers that means if you have a stoichiometric uh, coefficient so these are what those uh, uh, representations okay so this is the formula used to calculate limiting molar conductivity for weak electrolytes okay from this we can calculate a degree of dissociation for weak electrolyte that is alpha is equal to lambda m divided by lambda m not and uh, 
dissociation constant ka is equal to c alpha square divided by 1 minus uh, alpha okay so these two equations are important remember it is okay after that uh, let's see electrolysis this is uh, uh, another part of uh, electrochemistry that is uh, electrical energy brings about a chemical change okay so here electrolysis means is the process of decomposition of an electrolyte by passing electricity through its uh, aqueous solution or a uh, molten solution okay so this is called as electrolysis so in this electrolysis uh, faraday quantitatively related uh, relations uh, with these uh, processes so those laws are called as faraday's laws of uh, electrolysis okay here we are going to see two faraday's laws of electrolysis the first one is faraday's first law of uh, electrolysis what it says means the amount of chemical reaction which occurs at any electrode during electrolysis by a current proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the electrolyte okay neevu ondo electrolysis process alli neevu eshtu hottu current na pass maartta idira matte eshtu hottu current na pass maartta idira eshtu current na matte eshtu hottu current na pass maartta idira anadra mele nimma amount of substance depend agirutte that means w is directly proportional to q where q is charge okay so w is equal to z into q where z is uh, that is uh, electrochemical uh, equivalent so q that is a uh, charge it is equal to i into t where i is current t is uh, uh, that is a uh, time okay so if you want to calculate z uh, here we have a formula that is equivalent weight of substance divided by faraday's constant that is 96500 e divided by 96500 if you calculate you will get a electrochemical equivalent this is faraday's first law okay it says new est current na est hottu pass martira ast amount of substance depend agutte next second law of electrolysis en helutte andre ber bere electrolysis process alli neevu same electricity pass madidru kuda amount of substance in depend deposit aagta ide adu same irala adu different irutte it depends upon the Uh, equivalent weight of uh, that metal ante okay illi est pass madidevo est hot madidevo adar mele depend agutte illi series of uh, electrolysis process alli same current ne same hotte pass madidru kuda amount of substance deposit agididella adu differ agirutte a uh, differ yadar mele depend agirutte andre chemical equivalent of that substance mele depend agutte that means amounts of different substances liberated by the same quantity of electricity passing through the electrolytic solution are proportional to their chemical equivalent of weight okay so formula of this equation uh, statement is w1 by w2 is equal to e1 by e2 where w is mass e is chemical equivalent of weight okay so e chemical equivalent equivalent weight na neevu kandidbeku andre formula one bitu atomic mass of the element athwa molar mass of the molecule divided by number of electrons gained or lost by one atom or ion of the element okay so in case of acids and bases antandre number of uh, acidity and uh, basicity no baruthe okay next uh, so after this uh, electrolysis process some of the factors will affect this uh, electrolysis process okay uh, this electrolysis process depends upon the nature of electrode and the type of electrodes used during the uh, electrolysis process okay athwa second one uh, electrode potentials of the electrode mele kuda depend agirutte third one concentration of uh, electrolytic solution melu kuda depend agirutte okay so ishte adu ella mele depend agirudrinda illi concentration mele ondastu depositions kuda athwa liberations kuda hengirutte electrodes kuda mele anthe heli kottidive okay so the first one that is uh, nodi illi molten nacl ena nu electrolysis madidre at cathode sodium metal deposit agutte at anode chlorine gas evolve agutte okay so at cathode so this is addition of electrons that means reduction takes place and this is uh, removal of electrons that means oxidation uh, takes place so ili chlorine gas anode hatra liberate agutte sodium metal lo cathode hatra deposit agutte yavaga andre when you take molten nacl next new enadru nacl na water will dissolve maadi electrolysis maadidre that is aqueous nacl so iga at cathode sodium metal badalagi h2 gas liberate aagta ide ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಅಟ್ ಆನೋಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೋಲ್ಟನ್ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿಯಲ್ಲಿತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಎನ
ಬಟ್ ಅಕ್ವಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿಲ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಏನಿದೆ ನಾವು ಇಟ್ ಕಾಂಪೀಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇದೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಏನು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾಂಪೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇದೇ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಅಕ್ವಸ್ಗೂ ಮತ್ತು ಮೋಲ್ಟನ್ಗೂ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇದೇ ಥರ ನೀವು ಡೈಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಓ ಫೋರಿಗೆ ಬಂದರೆ ಡೈಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಥೋಡ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಟ್ ಆ್ಯನೋಡ್ ಓ ಟು ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅದೇ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಅಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಥೋಡ್ ಏನೋ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಗ್ಯಾಸೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಂದರೆ ನೀವು ಸೊ ಆವಾಗ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಓ ಏಟ್ ಟೂ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇದು ಲಿಬ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಡೈಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದೀಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಪೋರ್ಟಬಲ್ ಡಿವೈಸಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಂಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಸೆಲ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಟೈಪ್ ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಸೆಲ್ ಅಂತ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಸೆಲ್ಲು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಫ್ಯೂಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಎಗೈನ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಸತಿ ನೀವು ಇದನ್ನು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಾಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ರಿಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಯಾವುದು ಅಂದರೆ ಡ್ರೈ ಸೆಲ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಮೆರ್ಕ್ಯುರಿ ಸೆಲ್ ಇವನ್ನ ಬಟನ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಅಂತಲೂ ಕರೀತೀವಿ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ವಾಚ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ತಿರೋ ಸೆಲ್ಲು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮೆರ್ಕ್ಯುರಿ ಸೆಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ರೀಚಾರ್ಜಡ್ ಎಗೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಗೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ನೀವು ಒನ್ಸ್ ಇದನ್ನು ರೀಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಾಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ರೀಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಥರ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಅವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಡ್ಮಿಯಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಲೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಇದನ್ನು ತುಂಬ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆಟೋಮೊಬೈಲ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ಹೌಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟರ್ಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಕೋ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಸೆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂಯಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಬೋಸ್ಟನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ ಫ್ಯೂಯಲ್ಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂಯಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಯಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ಗಳು ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ನಾವು ಆ್ಯನೋಡ್ ಹತ್ರ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಯಾಥೋಡ್ ಹತ್ರ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇವರು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಲೈಫ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಡ್ರೈ ಸೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯನೋಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಝಿಂಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಆ್ಯನೋಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್
and very importantly this is a fuel cell so fuel cell alli ond compartment iruthe ed compartment so alli ond kade inda hydrogen inond kade inda oxygen introduce maartivi middle alli ond electrolyte iruthe that is noh okay so ee veradu serkondu hydrogen and oxygen serkondu combustion aagibittu it produces a electricity okay so here it undergoes oxidation and here it undergoes reduction so that these two are redox reactions it generates a electrical energy okay idu eco friendly yake andre illu nodi 2h2 plus 4oh minus it gives 4h2o plus 4 electron so o2 plus 2h2o plus 4 electrons it gives 4 oh minus illi 2h2o il 2h2o 4 electrons 4 electrons cancel aadre 2h2 plus o2 it gives 2h2o od that means your product is uh, water okay so that's why these fuel cells are used in uh, um, astronomical uh, uh, traveling uh, devices like uh, rockets and all uh, because uh, the astronauts those who are staying in uh, uh, space they take use of this one that means it acts as uh, uh, energy source for electricity as well as the product is water that can be used okay so next uh, one more simple topic that is a uh, corrosion so corrosion means the slow eating away of metals when exposed to atmosphere is called a uh, corrosion so usually uh, corrosion of iron and now rusting and karitivi it is a electrochemical phenomenon which occurs in the presence of moisture and uh, oxygen en agutte nodi one metal ide especially iron ide ankode idana nevenadru horagade sumne nature bisak bitre nevu so it undergoes uh, rusting okay yakad agutte andre nature alli nimage gottide oxygen ide jothege moisture sikto andre it undergoes uh, rusting upper surface of metal enagutte eradication agutte okay henga agutte idu andre it's an electrochemical phenomenon both on and, uh, and cathode onde metal act agutte but parts kulu bere bere agutte so eradu reactions kulu nadidu it undergoes uh, redox reaction so that uh, metal surface enagutte rust agutte henga agutte at anode fe it undergoes oxidation to lose two electrons sorry at anode oxidation takes place that is uh, fe plus fe2 plus plus uh, two electrons loss aagta okay next nimage uh, oxygen sigutte nature inda moisture inda hydrogen sigta ide so ivu eradu serkondu o2 plus 4h plus plus 4 electrons it gives 2h2 to balance this here we need to multiply by 2 that is 2 fe it gives 2 fe2 plus plus 4 electrons then this is the overall reaction that is 2 fe plus o2 plus 4h plus it gives 2 fe2 plus plus 2 h2 okay so hing agibittu metal enide idu eradicate agibittu rust aagta ide because of in presence of water and moisture and oxygen okay so that is called as corrosion so in case of iron it is rusting so idanna prevent madbekoskara nam hatra methods ide simple aagi heladadre those methods are barrier protection sacrificial protection and anti rust solutions okay and the solutions ide nam hatra avanna apply madide like paint to kuda aste greasing kuda aste athwa red oxide apply madadu aste ivella apply madadaga metals kuda rust agutha okay next uh, let's see some questions regarding this topic that is saturated solution of kno3 is used to make salt bridged because why we need to take kno3 anta kelidar okay because velocity of k plus is greater than that of no3 minus velocity of no3 minus is greater than that of no3 minus velocity of k plus and no3 minus are nearly same kno3 is highly soluble in water okay if you see these four options the related option for this question is okay na nimge first ge helide kcl athwa kno3 use maartare ante yake andre so aqueous solutions alli k plus athwa no3 minus movement enide same iruthe okay so ivu eraddu cations and anions charges matte size variation anta navella odidru kuda so illi ivu eraddu movement enide same iradrinda idanna navu salt bridge alli use maartivi that means athrad option c ide okay that means velocity of k plus and no3 minus are nearly a same so that electrical neutrality is maintained in ulidira anta a b matte d enide idu sambandha illira tara ide okay so that means option c is the right answer next one a factory produces 40 kg of calcium in 2 hours by electrolysis electrolysis process nadithade alli 40 kg of calcium produce aagta ide 2 hours alli okay 
how much aluminum can be produced by same current in 2 hours if current efficiency is 50 percent okay so idenne neevu aluminum ig madidre adu current efficiency is 50 percent igide est amount of substance na deposit madabodu anta question kelidha okay so this is based on uh, faraday's second law of electrolysis according to that uh, you know uh, w1 by w2 is equal to e1 by e2 ill nan rearrangement madkondidini illi first one nan calcium anta barkondidivi weight of calcium divided by weight of aluminum idanna ill barkobeku is equal to e of calcium that is uh, electrochemical equivalent divided by e of aluminum okay nimage gottide electrochemical equivalent calculate madad hege anna atomic mass divided by adara valence athwa number of electrons loss or gain enide adanna madidre nimage electrochemical equivalent sigutte okay so calcium ina mass kottidare eshtu 40 so electrochemical equivalent of calcium eshtu andre idu 40 ide calcium oxidation state that is 2 plus so 40 divided by 2 madidre you will get 20 okay so that's why we have written 20 here next uh, w of aluminum now calculate madbeku adu nange ittkondidini e of aluminum that is electrochemical equivalent of aluminum calculate madbeku you know atomic number of uh, aluminum uh, it's a uh, atomic mass is uh, 27 okay so al common oxidation state is plus 3 27 divided by 3 that is uh, 9 okay that's why 9 here if you cross multiply weight of aluminum will be 18 kg if current efficiency is 100 percent because we have calculated for 100 percent no that's why so here they ask to calculate for 50 percent efficiency then half of this okay 100 percent or 50 percent under 18 kg le 9 kg agate. so that's why option c is the right answer okay next uh, zinc bar silver oxide cell see this cell representation zinc uh, bar silver oxide cell is used in electric watches okay so zn it gives zn2 plus plus two electrons so loss of electrons that means this is anode its electrode potential value is minus 0 0.76 volt okay next at cathode ag2o plus h2o plus two electrons it gives 2 ag plus 2 oh minus okay its electrode potential is 0 0.8 volt they ask you to calculate delta G naught for this uh, reaction. Okay. So, delta G naught, you know the equation that is delta G naught is equal to minus N F E naught cell. To calculate E naught cell, we need electrode potential of cathode and uh, anode. Right. So, here we have a reaction uh, formula that is E naught cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode. Right. Here we have values of anode and cathode. It is coming out as 1.56 volt electrode potential of this cell. So now delta G naught is equal to minus n, n is number of electrons transferred. If you see here, two electrons are uh, released, right? And these two electrons are added here. That means it is 2. And Faraday's constant, 96,500 coulomb. And uh, electrode potential, that is 1.56, it comes as a value of uh, this much. Okay. So, but this one is not there here. We need to convert this, uh, this one into joules. So if you convert that, so shift this, uh, point from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then it is 3.01 into 10 to the power of 5 of job. Okay. So, option is, option is B, minus 3.01 into 10 to the power of 5 job. Next one, for a dilute solution of a strong electrolyte, which of the following facts is correct? Okay. For dilute solution, they are asking. Right. Uh, see here. The graph between lambda m and c is linear. See, we are not going to write a graph between lambda m versus c. It is a, a graph between lambda m versus square root of c. Okay, so that's why see the option which includes square root of c. That means this is the graph between lambda m and lambda, sorry, square root of c is a linear. It's a shortcut. Okay, but if you go through uh, in detail, uh, this is the solution. For strong electrolyte, there is no increase in the number of ions with the dilution because strong electrolytes are completely ionized in the solution at all concentration. For strong electrolytes, if it is shown by the Debye Huckel Ansager equation, lambda m is equal to lambda m naught minus uh, a or b of square root of uh, c. Okay. In place of lambda naught, we can also use lambda infinity, that means limiting molar conductivity. So here, 
lambda m naught is equal to molar conductance at infinite dilution limiting molar conductance lambda m is molar conductance okay so b it is a constant which depends upon the nature of the solvent and temperature c is the concentration so these are the nature of graph this is for strong electrolyte and this is for weak electrolyte here we have drawn a graph of lambda m versus square root of c that is linear that means option c next uh, nost equation e cell is equal to e not cell minus rt by nf lan q indicates that the equilibrium constant kc will be equal to q well so while deriving this equation i have already told you that it will come when e is equal to zero okay with this e is equal to zero will happen at equilibrium that is kc is equal to q at equilibrium q will become kc right that time e will uh, electro uh, cell potential will become zero so e not cell will come this way so that rt by nf log kc will happen okay this is the reaction so that's why it happens at uh, e is equal to zero so next uh, during the measurement of uh, emf of a half cell using a reference electro and a salt bridge if the salt bridge is removed then the voltage okay so reference electrode you know that is a standard hydrogen electrode its electrode potential is uh, arbitrarily zero right if you connect it to the other uh, uh, metal electrode if you remove a salt bridge what happens to the cell okay it will get uh, incomplete that means circuit will not uh, complete if circuit will not complete means so its electrode potential may drops right so here they are given an option that is uh, remains unchanged no chance decrease to half the previous value so it is not like that okay it depends upon the um, electrode we took with uh, it right so next uh, increase to its uh, maximum value no okay so drops to zero or become a uh, negative okay see anyhow electrode potential of uh, uh, hydrogen that is zero sometimes it may go beyond that also that is a uh, negative okay so that's why option d is the right answer clear so now an electrochemical cell is represented as follows one electrochemical cell kottidare nan nimage avagle helide hege bariyodu ant heli anode next double vertical line that indicates salt bridge and next cathode so here both are standard hydrogen electrodes only but the difference is the concentration of acids here they took hcl and here they took acetic acid okay let's see platinum h2 at one atmosphere ba 0.1 mhc they dip it in 0.1 mhc l concentration solution okay next uh, same electrode only they have dip it in 0.1 m uh, acetic acid solution okay the emf of this cell will not be zero because they are acid okay so here both electrodes are standard electrodes only but uh, the constant uh, i mean uh, the two different uh, acids are here that is one hcl and uh, acetic acid both are having same concentration only so based on that uh, you cannot decide it is uh, same because these two are different uh, different acids okay here h plus and cl minus are there here ch3 co minus and uh, h plus are there okay so that means ph of these will uh, changes okay so that's why it will not be zero so the option is the emf of this cell will not be zero because the ph value of 0.m hcl and 0.1m acetic acid are not the same okay so that's why option a is the right answer okay so next when lead storage cell is charged so this is a lead storage battery secondary cell during the charging they are asking okay sulfuric acid is consumed sulfuric acid is formed so lead sulfate is formed lead is consumed okay see during discharge of lead storage h2so4 is consumed are you following so lead is consumed and pbso4 is formed during charging the reverse reaction occurs that means this is the reverse reaction are you following so pb plus pbo2 plus 2h2so4 it gives 2b pbso4 plus 2h2so2h2o is a discharge process okay so recharging means i mean charging means this reaction will reverse that means 2 pbso4 plus 2h2o it gives pb plus pbo2 plus 2h2so4 during this time h2so4 is produced 
okay so that's why sulfuric acid is form is the right answer so next one that is uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cells are used in space crafts to supply oxygen hydrogen water elimination okay you know this is that is a fuel cell is a device that converts the chemical energy from fuel into electricity through a chemical reaction of positive charged hydrogen ions with oxygen hydrogen ions electrons and oxygen react to form of water okay so that means here they use it uh, to supply a water in a space crafts okay so that is the advantage of uh, hydrogen oxygen of fuel cells okay so this is a quick revision of uh, electrochemistry and uh, some of the mcqs of uh, this chapter okay so further we will see one more video regarding uh, uh, this uh, chapter for different uh, mcqs okay until then thank you thank you for watching